So, it's almost St. Patrick's Day. And I got my little bow on here. And I thought it'd be fun to show you a really cool green eye look. So you can be extra festive on St. Patrick's Day. Let's get started here. What I'm gonna do first is apply my Glorious Primer because I'm not trying my face or anything today. I have nothing on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my primer on. And you wanna make sure you get that primer. Ooh, that lighting is wonka. Still learning all this today. Look at this little lighting fixed for you here. Ah! Maybe at this too. Hold on. There we go. That's so much better. Okay. It's like if I'm too far away, it like picks up. You want to make sure you get your primer on your eye. It's just going to allow your eye makeup to stay all day. All right, primer is done. I can't say enough good things about that primer, y'all. All right, so we're going to start off today. I'm going to be using the Splurge Cream Shadow in the color Elegante. Elegant. I love this one, obviously. You can almost see the bottom. And not quite. I mean, there's still so much more to use. So what you want to do is grab some, put it in the cap here, and then I'm just going to apply this to my lids with the cream shadow brush. Just like so. Smooth it on. Usually with pigments, you want to press it in but really with the splurge cream shadow it's more of a smoothing action that works good okay so i'm just putting it on the lid maybe a little bit above the lid kind of where my eye crease is if you have hooded eyes which is where when you open your eye you can't see any of your lid you just automatically only see this then um you really don't need to go up into the crease too much with this But because I have huge eye space here, I kind of have to use uh, quite a bit of that space up with the colors. All right. So Elegant is just like a soft, shimmery gold. Very soft gold. It's um, like a beigey gold. Okay. Next, I'm going to be using the um, mineral pigments in the color Dignified, which is gorgeous. So all I do is tap a little bit, tiny bit, into the tray there. I'm going to use just a regular eyeshadow brush, shader brush. And then what we're going to do is dab it right here, kind of right under your brow bone here. You're going to feel for your brow bone, start there. You're just gonna go back and forth. You don't wanna go all the way down here. You kinda wanna stop like finger width away from the center, uh, from the inner eye here. So I'm stopping right about here, going out here, and stopping. I'm not going down with this, I'm literally just stopping We're right there. Kind of like an upward, so it looks like an upward motion. See that? It looks kinda crazy now, but once I get the liner and the mascara on, it'll look cool. Huh. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Remember, we're starting like right here. Feel for that brow bone. Move it outward, and up. Outward, and up. And we're dotting, we're not, no smoothing with pigments because you will make a mess all over your face. But again, this is why I do my makeup last, well, the rest of my face. So, we're just doing that. So, it's kind of fun, right? Okay. Next thing we're going to grab is a precision pencil in the color, it's called Prosperous. The color is called Prosperous. It's like this emeraldy, green, blue, teal kind of color. Alright. And always for liner, you want to stretch your eye out just a smidge and do small strokes your lash line here. And then we're going to do a fun little cat eye sweep right there. So just like so. And then I like to go all the way in. Just like that. See that? Same thing. I have a huge mirror in front of me and I'm still using the phone. It's like that's what I've gotten used to. But
scoop right here, the base of it to the bottom line. You always want to connect there. Try not to leave a gap there because that kind of makes it not flow right. If you don't see any makeup right there, it's going to cut off the look of your eye. It's probably going to make it look smaller in some weird way um, because it's not connected there. There's no continuity. Continuity, is that the right word? Right, and I'm also going to go on the inner line, the, uh, the water line here. don't want to go all the way in either. We're going to do something different there. Alright. And then we want to do your waterline again. Okay. See it's starting to come together. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to get the palette number one. And I'm going to get this little liner shader brush. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the color Brassy, which is the broken one. I'm just gonna dab it right here and take it out right here. Just like that. Right here and take it out right here. That's just gonna give like little gold flecks right there. Cool, right? All right, next to four under the brow, I always highlight my brows with, so cool having a drawer. I always highlight under my brow with the mineral concealer and the color fresh. I love that color. It works so great for highlighting for me. Uh, more so than concealing. I, I do use it to cover up zits from time to time, but but I like to just dab it right under the brow there. And then help to blend. So it blends from the top and down towards the bottom. Just You don't see any harsh lines there. Same thing over here. See? That. Alright, then we're going to do our brows. <clears throat> okay. Brow pencil, I use the color medium. I love this brow pencil. And I'm sure you guys have heard me say it before. I did not think I needed a brow pencil until I used this. I love it. So you're just going to do small strokes and line the top of your eye. And I need to elongate mine. Mine are short for some crazy reason. They don't grow on the end. So I elongate. I go on the bottom. Make it a little square there. I like to make it a little bit square. Then I just trace the bottom of my eyebrow and elongate as well. See that? Then I'm going to take the spoolie, do that, and then I think I need to fill in a little bit right there. So just fill in where, where you think it's needed. Same thing over here. So we're just tracing the top, tracing the bottom, elongating, filling in where we need it. Whoops, I used the wrong signing. brow gel. Pump it. Get those fibers on there. And then, ah, fibers on my, ugh. See, there really are fibers. See that? Can't say there's no fibers in there because there are. They're awesome is what they are. They help fill everything in and color my gray hairs that I just despise. I despise you, gray hairs. All right, looks pretty cool. And the last step, but the most important for eyes, I think. Alright, so I'm going to grab my handy dandy cute little pink eyelash curler. And I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Grab my gel. Then we're going to put our gel. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'll probably speed this up here. Our finished St. Patrick's 
I look. You like? Looks pretty fun, right? You could totally do this not for St. Patrick's Day. It's just a pretty shimmery green. It's not overdoing it. It'll look better when my whole face is done, but so you get the idea. So it's just good to have some fun. Try a new color. It's a holiday, so it's risk-free, right? All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.